as you hear these words, there are 45 new Shiva houses in Am Yisrael, in which the words Hamakom Yenachem Eschem, the Sochsha Vele Tzion Virushalayim, are being recited repeatedly over the next few days. One of those Shiva houses is that of our dear Talmud of Yeshiva Chalvim Dani Mora, Sichono Levracha. And over the generations, various interpretations have been offered for the usage of the word Hamakom in this context. We know of many names for God. And for some reason, the name Hamakom was chosen for this tefillah, for this bakasha. May the Makom be your comfort. This Shabbos was a very difficult Shabbos in Yeshiva Shalvim, but I found comfort in the words of Rav Soloveitchik that can be found in the Sefer Divrei Harav. Rav Soloveitchik offered a very unique and what I found a very moving interpretation for the words Hamakom Yenachim Eschem. We know of the concept Hamakom from a halacha in Kibur Avaim of Al Yeshev Bimkomo. A son or a child may not sit in the makom of a parent. The reason for that is because we're supposed to be in awe of that person's stature, that person's status, and what they've achieved in this world. But after that person passes on, the halacha is yeshe bin koma. And Rav Soloveitchik did not just interpret this as a heter, the sheves bin koma. That this halacha is symbolic of the fact that the child need not need not accept passively the gzera mina shamayim to lose that loved one, but rather yeshe bimkomo. It is now time for the child to look to that parent and say, "What is it that I can learn from my father or from my mother that I have not yet integrated into my life? Something I can adopt." Something I can do where I can mourn to enter that person's place. And that, said the Rav, is Hamakom Yenachem Eschem. That ability that we have. Lihikanez Limekomo. Not to passively accept the Gzera, but to actively fill that person's footsteps in whatever capacity that we can. This is the greatest Nechama the ability to be active, to learn from the person's ways, to do mitzvahs and ma'asim tovim that are inspired by this individual. Li'ilui nishmaso, the ability lihikana is limikomo, and to pattern our own behaviors after that loved one. That's the greatest necham. Perhaps we can listen to the numerous stories that are now surfacing about our dear Talmud Dani. Dani Morris was a person of Midos. He was a Bacha that loved Limud Torah. He loved Dibu Chaveren. He loved to work on himself. And I heard him say with my own ears, I don't want my year in Yeshiva to be something that doesn't change me, that doesn't form me. I don't want it just to be stuck in my brain because of the information that I've taken in. The yeshiva experience needs to change us and, and form our midos tovos, to make us better people, to accept upon ourselves more mitzvos and masim tovim and our interactions with others need to be fixed and improved upon. This is what Daniel was looking in his yeshiva experience. And therefore, I believe that the greatest nechama is to attempt to do whatever we can. Lihikanes limekomo to accept upon ourselves a new Mida Tova that perhaps we're ready for, but we haven't worked on yet. To do that favor, to that smile for a friend, to be a better child for our parents, a better parent, a better sibling, a better spouse. May we be comforted in our ability, Lihikanes Limekoma, to improve our own Midas, to improve upon ourselves because of who this special individual was. Dani Morris, that we love so much and that we're going to miss so much. Hamako Yenachem Eschem Yisav Shara Yerushalayim